speaking to her sources and has some reporting on this. Kelly, good morning from Baltimore. Good morning. What I am learning now is that it, this move is described as something that was almost inevitable. I am told that there was a phone conversation today, a direct conversation between Donald Trump and Corey Lewandowski, where the former campaign manager was informed of this change. It is hard to put into perspective how difficult this was for Donald Trump because of his value on loyalty. Personally, very difficult for him. I am told that he has great personal affection for Corey Lewandowski. Lewandowski and appreciates what he was able to accomplish during the primary season. But this move is intended as a signal to the Republican establishment that, quote, Donald Trump gets it, that changes need to be made. I've been talking to top sources familiar with how this unfolded, and there was a sense that Corey Lewandowski was becoming more and more of a problem. Why? Because during the primary season, he had sort of a burn the house down uh, way of operating when you're up against 17, uh, a field of 17 challengers and kind of going through that one by one. Very different set of skills needed for a general election campaign. I'm told that there were concerns within the Trump family and also a lot of reports back to Donald Trump that part of what Corey Lewandowski's job was supposed to be was falling flat, and that is outreach to the GOP to try to bring about unity, to try to bring about those endorsements and supporters, and we've seen unfolding over uh, recent weeks how that has been a serious problem. This is Donald Trump's effort, according to sources I'm talking to, to sort of right the ship and to let people know that he is in this to win, that he will tack and make changes. He's being advised to hire more people. Now, in the short run, I'm told to expect Paul Manafort to fill the gap. But that does not mean that Manafort will be the de facto campaign manager going forward. We're just four weeks from the convention. If Donald Trump does, in fact, find other top operatives to bring in, and if they are willing to come in, I'm told he is prepared to make some of those changes. Firing Corey Lewandowski, very difficult move. Mixed emotions, I'm told, for Donald Trump. And also, this is the kind of thing that I'm told should not be interpreted as a simple win for Paul Manafort. We know, and we've been reporting over weeks, there's been tension between Paul Manafort and Corey Lewandowski. Not as black and white as that may appear. This was really coming from Donald Trump's own experience of seeing the campaign, quote, off the rails, I'm told. Understanding that he's had a couple of very bad weeks, that the party has not been in line behind him, that he's made some of his own mistakes, and to try to bring in a more professional organization to assist in this next phase. Another thing that I'm told is that for Corey Lewandowski, his attitude was really better suited for the primary phase, not someone with any experience at the national campaign level for a presidential run. So basically, the moment and the man hit at a point where he just wasn't equipped for this. I'm told that Donald Trump hopes that this will give comfort to Republicans who have been worried, that he is willing to do what is necessary. That's what top sources are telling me. But this is intended to be a very clear signal happening on a Monday, four weeks from the convention, after he has seen how bad press has dominated for Donald Trump and aware that Hillary Clinton has a small army of people in Brooklyn who are a part of her campaign, professional political organization moving forward. Now, we don't get a sense that there is a definite game plan of who would step in. So in the short run, it does make the most sense that Corey Lewandowski's replacement would, in fact, in a practical sense, be Paul Manafort. But what this really signals is that Donald Trump wants to win, recognizes he is not performing well as a candidate, recognizes the organization he has put together and has brought him this far, is not functioning properly in a national campaign environment this close to a convention. The Republican Party that has been at odds with Donald Trump got its message through to the candidate and he is responding. So some of the areas where Corey Lewandowski was directly responsible, this outreach to the GOP, even the VP vetting process. Now, we know that a law firm and a well-experienced lawyer, A.B. Kulpahouse, is running the checking, the vetting, as it's called. But Corey Lewandowski had, as part of his portfolio, handling the VP vetting. So that's a question that comes out of this as well. I think the bottom line is Trump is someone who prides himself on loyalty, going against Corey Lewandowski at this point, personally painful, but he recognized this was a professional imperative if he has 
any real shot at riding the ship and having a professional campaign going forward. Jose? Kelly O'Donnell, thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.